So today I want to give you a lesson on how to achieve big goals really fast, especially when they seem impossible. And this idea comes from the book Smarter, Faster, Better by New York Times bestselling author Charles Duhigg. And this is an idea that I call bullet train thinking. And it actually is a story of how bullet trains came to be, how bullet trains emerged in the 1960s in Japan. So here's what happened. You see, Tokyo and Osaka are two of the biggest cities in Japan. And travel between Tokyo and Osaka back in 60s used to take 20 hours, even though the two cities were only 320 miles apart. It was mountainous terrain, and they had an outdated railway system, an average speed of only 16 miles per hour. So the head of the railway system, who was obsessed with putting Japan on the technological uh, on the technology map, he asked for speedier trains. And six months later, the team unveiled a prototype train that could travel at 65 miles per hour, and it would make it one of the fastest trains in the world at the time. But the head of railway system was not happy with it. He said, this is not enough. We need a train that needs to go that needs to go at top speeds of 120 miles per hour. Now the engineers thought that was totally impossible. That was totally crazy, out of reach. No way this was gonna happen because there are too many mountains to go to go around between Tokyo and Osaka. It's a very mountainous terrain and the train just can't go fast around the mountains because of the centrifugal force. So they thought it was just impossible. But the head of the railway system kept on pushing on, said, I want a train that can top speed 120 miles per hour. I want a train that can go really fast. I don't care how it's gonna get done. The engineers went to work again. They redesigned the train cars with their own motors. They built gears so they meshed with less friction. They reinforced the rails. There were a lot of different innovations, over 100 different innovations, big and small, that improved the speed, but still not enough to get to 120 miles per hour until the engineers figured out one key thing. They were constantly getting pushed by the head of railways to figure it out, and they couldn't hit 120 miles per hour until they figured out this one thing. And in 1964, they figured it out, and the Tokyo Shinkansen, the world's first bullet train, left Tokyo and reached Osaka in three hours and 58 minutes with top speeds of 120 miles per hour. So it covered the grounds of 320 miles in less than four hours. Now, the question that's probably in your mind is how did they figure it out? How were they able to go fast around the mountains when it was so difficult and all the engineers were saying it was impossible? Well, here is how it happened. They did not go around the mountains. Instead, they went through the mountains. They built tunnels and they deployed dynamite. They blew up those mountains, they built tunnels. And as a result, the trains went through the mountains rather than trying to go around the mountains, over the mountains, below the mountain, all of those things. They went right through it. The head of the Japanese railway system, he knew something. He knew he wanted an innovation that could usher Japan in a modern era. And he knew that if he was going to demand that from his team, they were going to figure out a way. And it revolutionized the technology world and it revolutionized the positioning of Japan in the world as to... a making it a leader in that field. Now the lesson, what is the lesson here from bullet trains and how they emerged? It is what I call bullet train thinking. The lesson here is that when you have crazy big goals, when the Japanese uh, railway minister, he said, no, no matter what, I want trains that go at 120 miles per hour. It was a big, hairy, audacious goal. It felt impossible. But when you have a BHAG like that, when you have a big, hairy, audacious goal like that, and it feels impossible, that's when you figure out, that's when you figure out the path. That's when innovations happen. That's when you stop trying to go around the mountain, you refuse to be stopped by the mountains, and you go right through them. And it's the same with your obstacles. You know, you might be playing small in life today because you're trying to play the small game, you're trying to play the easy game, or you're trying to play the incremental game of goal achievement, and you're trying to set incremental goals. But until you have big, hairy, audacious goals, until you have big goals that push you to the boundary, you're not going to figure out new solutions. You're not going to figure out powerful new ways to go, to get things done. 
You see, when you are trying to go for very big goals, the old ways of thinking just don't work. Just by working double or triple or quadruple harder, you're not gonna figure it out. You have to figure out new ways by innovating. You have to figure out new ways to make things happen. So these big, hairy, audacious goals, they impose constraints upon us. And constraints get us to innovate. Constraints force us to innovate. Constraints are a good thing. So having that constraint that I need to hit this goal in a certain time frame or by a certain limit or because of certain, having certain constraints forced on you will force you to innovate more than anything else you can do by yourself, more than anything you can do when you're trying to do incremental goals. Now, if you want to achieve big goals this year, I have a master class coming up this week where I'm gonna teach you how to accelerate your goal achievement. And this is a free master class I'm hosting where I'll teach you the three keys to accomplish more in the next 30 days than you did in the last 60 days. Head on over to 2000books.com slash time. 2000books.com slash time and register for that event and I will see you on the masterclass. I'll teach you exactly how to accomplish your big goals faster than you ever thought possible without working a minute longer, by the way. It's not about working harder or longer. It's about figuring out how to get into the bullet train thinking uh, how to get yourself to do bullet train thinking instead of do the same old, same old, same old. So I'll teach you the framework that will get you to accelerate your goal achievement, 2000books.com slash time. It's an amazing masterclass. People love it. They, it's revolutionized people's way of thinking of how to achieve their goals faster than they ever thought possible. Three keys that I will be teaching you and I'm excited to see you there. So 2000books.com slash time. See you there.